Please be seated. Hello, Your Honor. Hello. This is the case of Moody versus Brackens. Thank you, Jerome. Good day, everyone. Ms. Moody, you have petitioned the court for a DNA test to prove that the defendant is the father of your two-year-old daughter, Raylan. You hope these results will save your family. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Brackens, you say the plaintiff admitted to sleeping with another man and your doubt is overwhelming. But if the DNA results shock you, you'd consider staying together. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Oh, so, Ms. Moody, why are today's results so important to you? Because my family is so important to me, and if my... if the results don't turn out to be the way that I need them to be and the way that I have full 100% confidence that they are, my family is on the line. And my, like I said, my family is everything to me. I don't want to lose my soon-to-be husband. I don't want to lose what we have. We have something beautiful. And, um... I just really, really need to prove to him that Raylan is his daughter. And so this is destroying your relationship. It is, it is. Mr. Brackens, this is destroying your relationship? Yes, Your Honor. And so tell me about that. How is it affecting your relationship? I look at this little girl every day, Your Honor, and like I've been there for her since day one. I was there cutting the umbilical cord and everything, and I've... I broke my back, Your Honor. I built a foundation, and, like, this means the world to me. It means everything to me. But the doubt... The doubt? ...that permeates through the fabric of your family is wreaking havoc? Yes, Your Honor. It's destroying us right now. I can see it in both of your eyes. And Raylan is two years old, so for two years, you've been plagued by paternity doubt. Yes, Your Honor. Yes, Your Honor. So tell me, how did we get here? How did a beautiful couple, family, get to a position where your family's on the line because of a paternity issue? Your Honor, I take fault for that. Um, Anthony and I grew up together, went to school together. We've known each other for a very, very long time. After graduating high school, we lost, you know, we went our separate ways. He went to school, I went to school. And um, when we caught back up, Anthony was away. He was out of town for a while. And um, we were contacting each other over social media. And just through, just through social media messages and conversations, I was literally head over heels for him off top. I fell in love with this man. And um, I, I can't tell no lies. I can't say I was perfect because I wasn't. I was still doing my own thing. Regardless that I had these strong feelings for him, he wasn't here. And I was lonely. I needed affection, I needed attention, physical affection and attention, not just a message that I'm receiving from somebody. I looked elsewhere for that. So, you slept with someone else. Yes, ma'am, I did. How long did you entertain this other person, this other intimate relationship? <sighs> Three to four months, I was entertaining this other man. Um, when, when Mr. Brackens came back in town, I continued to entertain this other man for several weeks. Mr. Brackens, did you have any idea this was going on? Your Honor, the whole time I was away, it felt like we were in a committed relationship. It felt like it was one-on-one -on -one together the whole time we were together. And, like, I come back home and it was someone else and... Oh! Yeah. <sighs> I was playing two parts. I was playing two roles in life. I was being two totally different people. I would come to Mr. Brackens and I would act like, you know, it's not, it wasn't acting because I did feel it. The emotions, the feelings were there. I was in love with him. But then again, I was so caught up in this life that I had been living behind his back while he was gone that I didn't know how to put it into that. Okay. And so that was very hard for me to figure out, okay, how am I going to stop this and pick this up and be faithful to him and show him he is what I want in life. He is where I want to be. It was very hard. It was very hard for me to tell the other guy because I can't lie. I had caught feelings there, too. There, there was a sexual relationship. It was... I had caught feelings there, too. So, wait, how did you even find out, Mr. Brackens? Your Honor, I found out through a family member. What happened? He was like, hey, man, I need to let you know that you're not the only person. There's someone else involved as well. Really? So that's when I took it as far as, hey, it's either going to be me or him. You're going to have to choose. So at the point you were told, you confronted Ms. Moody and you said... I told her that she's going to have to make a decision. 
she can't keep running back and forth between me and him. And so when he told you you needed to choose Miss Moody, what did you say? What was your response? My response was automatically him. There was no question about it. The other guy's feelings, they, they went out the window. And that's what I had been so worried about for the weeks before. I wanted to, to, to kind of lay it down smoothly on him because he had no clue about Mr. Brackens for the but, four months. Okay, but for the purposes of this courtroom, we need to understand this specific question. While you were with Mr. Brackens when he got back in town, you were still intimate and having sex with the other person, too. So you were having sex with both men during that period of time? Your Honor, I would go spend the night with Mr. Brackens, and I would literally leave his house in the morning, go to my house, get ready for my day, and go to the other man's house. Like, every day. It was an everyday thing. So how soon after you broke up with the other man did you find out you were pregnant? A week and a half. Okay. So the doubt is real. The doubt is very real. Yes, Your Honor. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. I praise this man for being there from day one because he's new. Ever since then, the day that he gave me the ultimatum to be with him or to be with this other man, and I chose him. Even though I had done so much garbage, he, he didn't hold that against me. He respected that enough that I was okay. I want to get my stuff together. You're putting your foot down. I'm moving in with you, and this is what I want. <laughs> to be honest, my family member, um, his ex at the time, had a, was teasing about being pregnant, and I was like, well, if you'll take a pregnancy test, I'll take one. You know, it's no big deal. In the back of my head, honestly, a, a woman knows when something's going on within them. Yeah. We went, we got pregnancy tests, we came back to the house, they went to their house. I locked myself in the bathroom and I took that pregnancy test and almost instantly, boom, boom, positive. And my whole world was like, it was, I was happy, but at the same time it was like, oh my gosh. How do I, what do I do? How do I do this? Because I had been in a situation kind of sort of like this before. And I was not wanting to, I did not want to go through that again. You had been in this situation before? Yes, ma'am. I have a three-year-old child as well. So, Mr. Brackens, take me to the day you found out Ms. Moody was pregnant. I kind of had an idea she was taking the pregnancy test and such and such. She went in my bathroom, took the pregnancy test. I, I busted in on her. She tells me she's it's positive, she's pregnant. So instantly I'm like, in my head, I'm thinking, okay, maybe it could be another guy, but I take it upon myself. I want this kid to be mine. This is my kid. I'm not worried about this other guy. And yet, despite your devotion, your doubt still kept creeping in. Your Honor, I can't even put it in words. I've just been worried about taking care of another man's baby the whole time, but I just looked over it. I just looked over it because I fell in love with this child ever since she came. When I'm in the floor playing with her, throwing her up in the air, going to the park. In the back of your mind, you're thinking. I could be taking care of another man's baby. Your Honor, I need to prove to him today because Mr. Brackens has been through this before and he's had his heart crushed. And I, I know, I have confidence so much that, Ray, that she is his. I know she is. To me and so many other people, she looks just like him to me. And I hope it's not my, my feelings, my emotions getting in the way of that. But it's also because when I look at my daughter, I see him. I don't see me, I see him. Her little attitude, her little sassiness. It is Mr. Brackens to a T. It's not just me going off of my own faith and what I want. Mm -hmm. It's my child's actions as well. Ms. Moody, this other man, the man you cut the relationship off with, the man you decided to move on from, did you tell him you were pregnant? I did let him know, um, but after letting him know, I lost all contact with him throughout the nine months of pregnancy, blocked social media blocked, numbers, phone numbers blocked, everything was blocked. After my daughter was born, this man starts getting friends of friends and um, trying to say, you know, um, 
that baby, that baby looks so much like my youngest baby. He has three children of his own, and she, he was trying to compare my child to his. So the other man saw pictures of Raylan. Yes, Your Honor, he did. And he said, that baby looks like some of my other children. He did. And I believe she's mine. He did. He asked for a DNA test, and I would not. Because you didn't want the answer and you were scared what the answer would be? Yes, Your Honor, that's the truth. I, I was very scared of what the answer could be. Mr. Brackens, I know how upsetting this is and how difficult this is, but I have to ask you, there is another man saying that he also claims Raylan is his child. Have you ever met this other person? Yes, I know him. We grew up together. I know him. Oh, you know him? Yes, Your Honor. And so you're aware that he's in the community saying he believes Raylan is his child? Yes, Your Honor. And now I see how that doubt and these feelings and these thoughts become even more intense. Because it's not some man you don't know, never met, doesn't know what he looks like. This is a man you know. Yeah, a man that I know, see, just about every day. It's not no stranger. Oh, my goodness. I assume you signed her birth certificate. Yes, Your Honor. But if you are her legal father, but not her biological father, are you going to be comfortable allowing this other man the opportunity to be a part of her life and for her to know her biological father? Have you thought about that? No, Your Honor. I don't even think I could let him even come close to her. This is my child. Your Honor, it's more of a show for the other man. I hope he would not leave Raylan and not be her father figure no more, regardless of what the results are. It just so happened him not be the biological father. I hope that he doesn't do that. The other man would never amount to the father that he is. But you do understand that Raylan would deserve the opportunity to know who her biological father is. I Every child understand. deserves that. And you do understand that if, in fact, it is determined he is the biological father, he has options to petition the court in your home state. Yes, Your Honor, I do. To be able to gain the rights to see her and to spend time with her. Your Honor, I need him to know that Raylan is his like I know in my heart. Because it hurts me to see him hurt. I can see the doubt in his eyes. And I want him to know just as well as I know. I want him to have the same confidence when he's playing with her, when they're at the park. I don't want that racking in the back of his brain. He loves his child unconditional, but I want him to know he's really loving his child and not someone else's. And your greatest fear is, if his doubts are substantiated, he will leave, your family will be destroyed. My family will be broken. I do not want that. It's the last thing I want. I need this proven right now. I need him to know. Mr. Brackens, is there anything you'd like to say before I go to the results? I just want the results, Your Honor. All right. I am not going to let you wait any longer. This is important. Jerome. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. Do you want to watch Paternity Court on TV? Go to paternitycourt.tv to find your local listings. In the case of Moody versus Brackens, as it pertains to two-year-old Raylan Brackens, it has been determined by this court. Mr. Brackens, you are her father. <laughs> How does it feel, Mr. Brackens, to look at your beautiful little girl with no doubt in your mind, not another thought? It's amazing, Your Honor. Mr. Brackens, you have done an amazing thing for this child. Ms. Moody, you have stood in this courtroom and recited your truth in a way that very few women would be able to 
It's because of the way you love your daughter. And it's because of the way you love Mr. Brackens. It's because of the way you love your family that you were willing to lay it all on the line to be able to get this answer. And Mr. Brackens, you've done the same because of the way you love Miss Moody, because of the way you love Raylan, that you were able to stand in this gap where this doubt existed and be there for the child and for Ms. Moody. But we cannot fall prey to our past, right? Because it will repeat itself. And if we do not change our behavior, change the way we cope, the way we react to the difficulties we experience in life, because it's a beautiful rainbow today, but you better believe, baby, the rain is coming again. Mm -hmm. Because that's how life is. And that's how relationships are. But it's how we weather the storm is what counts, right? Yes, you are. And so you want to weather that storm together. We have counseling and resources for you, and I want you to take advantage of it because it won't always be easy. And even though you've gotten the answer you wanted today, some days those things may still creep back in your mind, like, look at all we had to go through. And you've got to have the tools to push that behind you and not focus on the past. Leave it in the past and move to the future, okay? I wish you all the very best of luck. Take care of Raylan. She's a beautiful (laughs) little girl. Court is adjourned.